welcome everyone to balmy Friday morning, a special day for court due to Monday holiday. Let's stand for a prayer and pledge of allegiance. Lord, we thank you for, uh, for a new day. We thank you for the fall and the change in the weather. We thank you for bringing us together and for being here amongst us as we conduct county business. We thank you for a brief agenda, but nonetheless, we ask for your wisdom and guidance. We pray for your protection on our first responders and our servicemen and women, wherever they may be. We pray for this community as we continue to have to deal with the uh, inconveniences and the tragedies surrounding COVID. We pray, Lord, for its complete eradication. We pray for the upcoming vote. We pray for the direction of this country. We pray that we would be under your complete uh, and total control and that we would trust you uh, with all of the troubles that we seem to be dealing with in this country. We just pray for our president and his wife and their continued uh, recovery. And now we turn this meeting over to you in Christ's name, amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, today our uh, regular meeting today, however, we are again on Friday due to Monday Columbus Day holiday, and it is the uh, ninth day of October 2020, just after 9 a.m. We'll begin with public comment time. If there's anyone that has uh, anything that they would like to mention to the court that is not on the agenda, this is a time uh, allocated to that. All right, we'll move on to two sets of minutes and we will vote on these separately. The first is the September 28th. That was our uh, second special meeting of the, or excuse me, our special meeting of the month, second normal meeting of the month that was held. And uh, then we'll vote on the special meeting that we had on October 2nd after that. So item two is regarding the minutes from September 28th. Make motion for approval of that set of minutes is made by Commissioner Fitch. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Applewhite. And then moving on to the October 2nd meeting where we had a brief uh, special meeting there. Make motion to approve the minutes. Nope. Yes, ma'am. We did not vote. All no, those, right. all those in favor of voting for the 28th of September minutes approval say aye. aye thank you Joan and I have a motion on the set of minutes from October 2 second and a second from Commissioner Applewhite all in favor of approval of that set of minutes say aye, aye. aye. item number four is report from commissioners regarding road work status what's been going on guys we've been working on uh, 1200 uh, and patching uh, the uh, we're re redoing 1200 for most people don't know it but anyway and then two of uh, our guys had uh, corona and were out uh, the last two weeks or that yeah today would be the end in the second week and then uh, two of them had to be tested for a day so we missed a couple of days last week so but we're back on the road uh, 1200 at mile and a fourth or that we're we're rebuilding from scratch but anyway, that's it. How are those guys doing? Are they? You say they're back, or this is their last day last away? Last day to be off. But they're both okay. They're, as far as I know, they'll they'll get tested. Uh, well, I think. Symptom wise, they handled it okay. Sure. Yeah. Good. All right. Thank you, Commissioner Applewhite. Well, we spent all the last couple of weeks, so we've been uh, trying to catch up on patching and scabbing and. Uh, and uh, blading, putting wrap on the road at uh, 29, 39.25, and we just been trying to catch up on really just a bunch of patching. We, our roads are just disintegrating, and uh, we're just trying to catch up. People hope they realize that we're doing the best we can. Well, we spent last week uh, chip sealing with uh, everybody that could help, and. Uh, it worked out real good. Everybody pitched in, worked real hard, and uh, the guys are amazing. Uh, 
we just had some good operators um, from everywhere from backing up a dump truck into a little six inch wide <laughs> hitch <laughs> loaded on little old roads and and our uh our randy tosh who runs that uh chipper he's amazing he was he's really awesome at doing that and then john uh young running the distributor truck uh, they work really hard and put in a lot of extra time for everybody when we do that everybody was uh gung-ho at it worked out real nice and then this week we've been uh we've had to uh do some potholing we're still uh, getting things caught up because uh we've had some weather issues and everything but now we got really great weather so we're going great guns at taking advantage of this weather before winter hits and uh, we've been uh, repaving and uh, fixing some uh, soft spots and covering them up and we got a lot of covering up to do uh, so we can some of these roads will be able to chip seal them next year so everybody with this good weather we can dodge rain we're going at it we're mowing uh, we started over in the Monticello we cut cut through the country we're getting some around the Winfield area then we're coming on back as we mow our way back into Monticello and we'll come back across uh, the precinct and that should be the last time that we mow and we we've got uh, some side cutting to do um, we'll catch up on that this winter and all so hope that we'll catch a good old frost before too long so, so thank y'all all right thank you item number five consider and possibly approve an update to the county's hazardous duty payroll policy for the coronavirus relief fund grant to reflect a slight change, and we talked about it the last time we were talking in terms of monthly pay amounts, and based on Barbara's uh, thorough research, and she spent quite a bit of time on this, she says we need to make this be stated as a daily rate of pay rather than monthly. And because she is now the reigning expert here on this subject, what else can you add to that? And John, if you'll pass her a microphone. Thank you, Judge Lee. Well, you're right. Uh, the TDM grant comes with a whole lot of strings, and I have worked closely with Andrea Lowe, the lady that you had mentioned. Um, initially, she had said that it would be fine with the $600 per month, but they want to do that on a daily basis. And there's a spreadsheet. I sent y'all a copy of that, that each employee will have to complete. Uh, Amy, Amy Johnson at the Sheriff's Department has been very helpful in, in getting those things set up. The other thing that's a little bit different is if the employees are not physically present, um, they're not going to qualify. So $30 a day, but it w they will not get it if they're on vacation, sick leave, comp time, anything where they are not physically present. And then they have to also check the box for the kind of duty that they perform that day. But contact with inmates or contact with the public in the public safety realm meets that requirement. So most of them, most days, will qualify. Now that extends to the Sheriff's Department, um, bailiffs, part-time bailiffs, and our investigator who would be eligible for that. We're going to pay that on the second payroll of each month and then we'll make adjustments on the first payroll, the, su the succeeding payroll, if there's any, um, if the paperwork's not complete, if they don't turn it in accurately, which could result in a reduction in pay. If we pay them the money and then they don't turn in what they need to, we could re take that money back from them, reduce it to that. And then the last thing I want to tell you, which is very important, um, this policy is subject to change at any time at the discretion of the county judge based on changes, updates, or new directions from, in this case, TDM. There's no assurance of these amounts to any employee as hazardous duty pay continues to be subject to the grantor agency requirements. Um, Sheriff Ingram has looked at this and um, he, he thinks that they won't have any trouble getting the report back to our office so that we can keep up with that and then report that to TDM. Okay. And, and uh, Barbara's making references to TDEM, that's T-D-E-M, Texas Department of Emergency Management. So the slight change basically uh, lasers this in on daily activity of each of these people that are getting this additional pay rather than just a blanket dollar amount for the month. And like you said, with that comes our responsibility and their responsibility to make the appropriate reporting 
on a daily basis. And so I guess a lot of that administrative burden will fall on not only you and your office, but on Amy over there at the sheriff's office and those that are, that are uh, subject to this pay. But it's nice to be able to have that. Don't know how long this will last, but in the meantime, I really appreciate the time you spent looking at this and making sure we're doing it right. And, you know, after talking to Judge Williamson in Red River, I was really skeptical that we would be able to do this. But thank you for gaining the confidence enough to say, yes, we can, we can certainly do this and take advantage of it, at least until it's no longer available. So, uh, Judge, that date is December 30th. That's the last That's already date. been determined yes, unless sir. that's extended. Unless, right, unless TDM extends Okay. It. So we get almost a, a full quarter out of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all we're doing then is tweaking that, uh, what we had talked about at the last meeting back on the 28th and changing that monthly hazard duty pay to a daily definition. And so that's, if you're supportive of that, that is what needs your approval. Make that motion. Motion to change the wording from monthly to daily on this hazardous duty payroll policy related to the Corona Relief Fund grant. Second. Second by Commissioner Fitch. All in favor say aye. 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 And believe it or not, we are down to approving oral and written reports of county officials, and Barbara has emailed that to you a few days ago. Make a motion we approve the report. Motion to approve our monthly, uh, our bi monthly report, semi monthly report is made by Commissioner Fitch. Second. Second by Commissioner Applewhite. Any discussion, comments? All in favor of approval say aye. Uh. We move to item number seven the treasurer's report that Cheryl has provided for you. Make that motion. Motion for approval is made by Commissioner Applewhite. Second. Second by Commissioner Fitch. And I will pass these two reports on to you for your signature. Sure, why not? All in favor, <laughs> say aye. Uh, aye. Keep Joan happy. <laughs> Item number eight, budget amendments. We have uh, budget amendment number 39, and this is for the year ending 930 of 20. Is this the last one? I thought we were already had the last one. Well, I thought we did too, Judge, but when I was reviewing the budget, I saw that uh, we had an item in the budget six hundred thousand dollars for stop loss reimbursement but because we only had three months of self-insurance last year we obviously didn't collect that kind of money so because the way that was set up that set up as a credit within the expenditure column of last year's budget that made us be over in that line item so this is simply just something to clean that up okay so the to state the reason for the adjustment as stated on this budget amendment to adjust the estimated stop loss reimbursement based on the fact there was limited stop loss revenues due to only three months of still being under the self-funded insurance and you'll recall that stop loss insurance is the additional insurance that we carry that protects us in the event of large claims that are made by our employees or their dependents and uh, you know, I don't know how many large claims we had this year, I think, or, or during that last quarter there, but uh, I don't recall there being any big significant ones. But anyway, this is, this is what we, this is simply a budget guess that we put together when we anticipate stop loss reimbursements. And, and again, you can understand why converting from a 12 year uh, previous, uh, medical insurance plan when we were under self-funded that stopped at the end of 2019 so there really there was only that one quarter there so she's making this twenty five thousand dollar revenue adjustment there make a motion we approve it motion to approve this one budget 
uh, amendment. Again, number 39, final for the year, at least final as we think as of right now. It's made by Commissioner Fitch. Second. Second, Commissioner Riddle. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Item number nine, sign pay orders and approve payment of bills. Make a motion to pay our bills. Motion is made by Commissioner Applewhite. Second. Second, Commissioner Fitch. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Closing comments, uh, time, I, uh, we have holiday on Monday. We, um, as far as coronavirus, we, we continue to see relatively no low numbers in the county. We had a couple of days of a larger spike up uh, early this week than I anticipated. We came back yesterday with no new cases. So we still, con we still continue to stay in a, low weekly number of cases, which is a good thing. And that means as long as we're doing that, that means that the number of people walking the street, we believe, is is less and less. And the chances, therefore, of anyone catching it uh, continues to go down. But I continue to stress diligence to everybody in the county and everybody in the community to continue to be smart, uh, monitor your own personal uh, way that you feel. If you're feeling the least bit different from what you normally feel, that could be an indicator that you've got sickness and you should probably consider getting tested. We still have free testing available in the county. It is still being done by the same subcontractor that was doing all of our testing at the Civic Center there for nearly two months. So it is not being directly paid by Texas Department of Emergency Management as it was before, but this third party apparently is able to make money at this with the, with the coronavirus claim money that they're turning in. And so they're setting up these mobile testing locations, uh, apparently in many, many locations. We've even got two here in town. So those two locations are the Valero gas station there as you enter down O'Tyson Road uh, off of Ferguson and the Exxon station directly across the street from Jalapeno Tree. So while it may seem a little strange to get a coronavirus test in a convenience store, the test is the same. It's the easy in and out cheek swab test, go get tested .com. And the more people that can get tested, I think the more knowledge that we have of, of what we're dealing with. Uh, sorry that Al lost a couple of guys there during the week. And uh, Jimmy may not be feeling well. Who knows? I don't know if Jimmy's gotten his test results or not yet. We hope that he does not have that. Uh, but anyway, continue to be diligent, but enjoy the fact that this is not the most top of mind subject that we're, we're dealing with as individuals right now. It's still very serious, but we hope to get through this. Early voting will start next week, believe it or not. We have three weeks of early voting this year. Three weeks. That uh, was designated to be uh, something to help in the uh, in the coronavirus environment and hopefully spread out the load that would otherwise be on our uh, election administration office during that three weeks. So I encourage you, vote early. Vote in a safe environment. They are prepared for you. They are going to make it a safe environment. And if we can get as many people to early vote as possible, it takes the load off of that uh, that voting day there in November when it all piles up on Tuesday. We expect record crowds this year. So next week, the 13th, we start, uh, we start early voting. I think that's all I have. Commissioner Riddle? Nothing. Commissioner Applewhite? No, sir. Commissioner Fitch? Ladies, anyone else? Okay. All right, we will uh, move on now to wrap up this meeting with a motion to adjourn. Make that motion. Made by Commissioner Applewhite and seconded by Commissioner Riddle. All in favor, say aye. Aye. All right, have a good three-day weekend, those of you that are fortunate to work for the county. <laughs>